Pisces, what's popping? All right, let's do another reading. Let's see what's going on for the second week of August. Because I kind of already see where the energy is this week. All right. Um, second week of August, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north. No. All right. So into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. All right, let's see what's popping for the Pisces for second week of August. So we have the Astral House. Whoa. Holy shit. I don't think Pisces has ever got this. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being fucking serious. <laughs> Pisces. That's what I was saying. I already felt where the energy was like for this week. What's going on? So I was like, let me try and switch it up a little bit. But second week, marriage. First comes love, then comes marriage. Let me stop that song right there. Okay, so marriage, y'all. Hmm. I don't know how to feel. Maybe we have got this card once. Because I remember pointing out that there's three wedding bands here. There's a diamond. Or whatever. Okay. All right. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. All right. So Pisces, second week of August, please. Let's go out with the Pisces for second week of August. I know there's like a hair on me somewhere and I can't find it. It's annoying. Second week of August, please, Spirit. What do you have for the Pisces for second week of August? We have the ant, work, achievement, and success. So, whoa, oh, the shield, you need to defend yourself, okay? All right, um, so the ant, work, achievement, and success. You may have been work, work. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. Ants go marching one by one, whatever, all right? I feel like you've been working away. Ants are constantly working, right? building so you're going to be successful keep going the shield you may need to defend yourself in some aspect let's keep going see what's going on for the second week of august or my pisces what's going on for the second week of august for pisces please wow i mentioned some i don't know why i was drawn to that earlier the little it's supposed to be like a diamond ring, but whatever color that is. I know there's a color, a name for it, but I can't think of it right now. Anyways, and then we get the diamond card. Diamonds are forever. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard that commercial? Uh, anyways, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift in the wishbone. A wish is granted and fucking romance is in the air. Y'all, this month for Pisces, I felt some good shit coming in. These, I literally, when I put these cards back in the deck earlier from earlier's reading, I literally went through and like stuffed them in separate spots. Okay. So this is no coincidence that this shit's coming right back out in a diamond. Oh, this is overwhelming. Let's see. Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Three more cards. Somebody may be feeling like overwhelmed. Like... I don't feel in a bad way. I feel like this is a good, good way. Like everything is coming into fruition. Uh, you may have had to learn how to defend yourself. You may need to defend yourself. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. What else is coming in for Pisces? Second week of August, please. The chain, a chain of events that will affect your life. So this is a chain intact together. Um, so I feel like this is a good chain of events, a strong chain of events. But something here is going to happen and it's going to affect your life in some aspect. The fly. Ugh. Period of ill health or depression. Okay, we don't get this one very often either. But uh, yeah, somebody may be going through some type of a period of ill health or some type of depression. Or even 
yeah, I was about to say an illness, but it literally says that in the feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. So with this card, also, if you guys look up like the meanings of feathers, um, say if you're walking and you find, you know, you see a feather, and I know there's some places where feathers are just everywhere. However, I'm going to tell you a quick little story. So I went in uh, to go pay my, or no, I went in to go get my daughter like a screen protector or something for her phone. And when I went in there, the guy on his counter, he had a feather sitting there. And then he had two feathers sitting there, actually. And so I asked him, I said, why do you have a feather sitting there? He goes, well, because I came into work and it was sitting right outside the door when he went to unlock the doors to the shop, um, that there was a feather sitting there. And he thought it was weird because it's like a parking lot, you know, not really. And it was weird. But anyways, and then he said he can't. And then the next day he came back and there was another feather sitting there. So while he was trying to like get my daughter's phone hooked up or whatever, I, you know, went on Google and I'm like, what is the meaning of, you know, when you find a feather, what is the spiritual meaning of it? And it was when you find a feather, it's one of your passed on ancestors letting you know that they are with you. Okay. That they're, they're there with you. And so I thought that was cool. So I showed him, I said, did you know when you find a feather, that means that your ancestors, I didn't say the passed on part because I didn't want to, I didn't know. But anyways, and he, uh, his grandma died the week before his grandmother just passed and he literally started bawling and crying. And I was like, oh my gosh, what did I say? But, um, yeah, anyway, so when I see a feather, that's what it always makes me feel like your ancestors are watching. Somebody knows independable and insincere, though. You have the whale on the bottom of the deck. Um, great worry over nothing, and it could be in regards to a uh, relationship that you have with a masculine here, because we have the man, dealings or relationship with the man. There's great worry over nothing. And the unicorn, you need to use your intuition. There's some opportunity that's about to open up with for you for the... Blah, 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 blah. Slow down. With the arcway, new opportunities and possibilities and paths are opening up to you. And then recognition and reward for merit underneath that just keeps getting better and better. But you may need to use your intuition. Uh, if you are dealing with, you know, having, I don't know. There's some type of great worry that's over nothing here with this whale. And it may be in regards to some type of relationship you share with a masculine energy. Okay. But somebody here is in... Un, uh, undependable and insincere. Why can't I talk? All right, so let's get on to this clarifying. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. All right, Pisces. So, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, where? Oh my gosh. It's my lotion. I was literally looking for my lotion and it was sitting right there in front of me and I was looking around it. Like, where is it at? Whew, Jesus, take the wheel. All right. Stress relief. So you guys may be looking for something and the answer is like right under your nose. That's for someone. Great worry over nothing. It's like you may be worried and stressed out about something that's like not really necessary. But let's see. Pisces. What is this marriage here? We're going to be doing three cards, single jumping cards only for clarifiers, for Pisces. All right. Sorry, that deck just didn't feel right. Show me marriage, please. What is this about? I mean, well, you could just be someone who's married, or if you're not, this could be a marriage proposal or someone else who's married around you. Somebody may also be married to their job with this work achievement and success, okay? Someone may be in a marriage, and they're also married to their job, like very committed. Let's see. Show me marriage. Ace of Swords. There's going to be some type of communication, honest, truthful communication that comes in. We have a Three of Cups, and I'm 
keep saying there's something about these three rings. So I don't know if this is like polygamy or if this is just like, uh, tell me more. The full card Aries energy is here. Somebody's deciding to ha take a, okay. If this isn't like a polygam, is that how you say it? Polygamous? Uh, somebody here is deciding to take some type of a risk, take a leap of faith in order possibly to reconcile, to have some type of reunion, celebration coming together. Um, there's going to be some type of communication that comes in and it will be honest, it will be truthful, and it could be surrounding a marriage or something to that nature. Somebody's going to do it. Someone's going to pop the fucking question, you know. That's what I strongly feel. Show me work achievement, success, seven of swords in the reverse. So um, there was some type of deception here that was found out. Uh, somebody may also know about some sneaky deceptive behavior at work or about how somebody got their success ace of pentacles so Wow, and Ten of Pentacles? Holy shit, yeah. So first message, somebody may have went from 1 to 10, like overnight, like overnight success. But there's something here. I'm going to clarify this Seven of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords in the reverse spirit? Four swords coming right back out. And the Empress. Oh, and Nine of Cups. Somebody's wanting to heal. Okay, so I'm going to say one thing. Be careful that somebody's not trying to come in and propose like the Knight of Cups to an Empress, Baby Mama, Taurus, or Libra, or somebody who's very abundant, okay, because of some type of work achievement and success. This could be somebody who cheated in the past and you caught them or something, but it's like somebody went from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here had a brand new beginning, uh, a gift or a payout or something. Somebody went from one to ten. And now somebody wants to come in and heal a situation. And the way I see that is the four swords can talk about healing, resting, meditating. And what would you need to heal from unless there was some deception, you know, that was found out about somebody lying, cheating, and stealing. And now someone wants to come and make an offer because of somebody's work achievement and success. I'm just saying. Okay. Show me you may need to defend yourself. Or you, it says you need to defend yourself. So maybe you need to defend yourself against this person. Like... Or, what is this? Five of Wands. Wow. Okay. So there is some type of competition. Some competing. Some type of drama. This could be with friends, family, other people meddling in a situation. What is the, you need to defend yourself? Two of Cups in this relationship. So there may have been competition here that you need to defend yourself against or somebody may be competing for you, for a relationship with you. The wheel in the reverse and Five of Cups in the reverse. Somebody here is no longer crying in regret because something somebody may be going through karma or uh, this is bad karma. Um, like I was saying... Aquarius, Theo, Scorpio, Taurus. So somebody knows independable or insincere. Five of Cups in the reverse can be like someone who like, I don't feel sorry for shit. I don't feel bad. I have no emotions, you know, or, you know, whatever. But with the wheel in the reverse, it's like it's because somebody's getting karma. So be careful that somebody's not trying to, what is this called? Um. <laughs> I just heard ride your pony. Make sure no one's trying to ride your pony, Pisces. Let me just say that. You may need to defend yourself. 
or defend this relationship or somebody may be defending this relationship. Period. Five of swords. Okay, two fives here. There's going to be some type of major change when it comes to this, this soul tie, this union. There's, there's mind games being played here. There's trickery. There's foolery. There's... Com there's competition, there's competing. Somebody may be competing to be in a relationship with you, but there's like five of swords. There's like, excuse me, rumors, gossip, like there's other people trying to win at all costs, starting some drama when it comes to this relationship. And someone needs to defend themselves. Show me the chain of events that will affect someone's life. Eight of Swords. Okay. Tell me more. Chain of events. What the fuck? Eight of Swords in the Magician Reverse. So somebody here is trying to bind somebody. Trying to keep somebody trapped and bound. I don't know who the fuck this is. But this came out in a reading I did earlier. For this week about somebody trying to do some stupid shit, all right? This is whoever you are, Crosswatcher, Pisces, whoever, fucking quit. Show me this chain of events. Somebody may already be married and trying to propose marriage to somebody in order to gain some type of financial gain. Because we have three rings here, like I keep saying. Or this is what somebody did, Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody's offering like a new beginning in love, but they're being manipulative. Or somebody manipulated a new beginning in love to keep somebody stuck, trapped, and bound. Or somebody is stuck due to some type of manipulation and wanting a new beginning in love. That can go many ways. Whatever. I'm okay. Eight of Wands. There's going to be some type of communication that comes in, though. I'll leave that there. Show me this period of ill health or depression. This could be what this Eight of Swords is. It's like somebody feeling stuck, trapped, and bound, like in a mental fucking prison. And feeling depressed, having some type of ill health, this could be affecting somebody's health because of somebody's fucking bullshit. Th this manipulation, this uh, this magic, or whatever the fuck it is. Like, woo. Somebody's fucking petty. Page of Cups. <laughs> wow. I literally said someone's fucking petty and look what we got. Page of Cups reverse. This is like the petty card. Holy shit, right? Somebody here is um, being very childish in a marriage, in a home. This could even be a child who is depressed here in a family dynamic or in a home. Seven of Cups. There's a lot of confusion. There's options. There's smoke and mirrors. Delusion. Surrounding some type of marriage. Somebody here has options. I got options. Like my savage looks locked in. Hey, just joshing. I'm spending this holiday locked in. Locked in this mental motherfucking prison. Shit. Strength card reverse. Somebody here is lacking the courage and the strength. Could be a Leo. It could be because of fucking some type of love spell. Somebody's petty. They're childish. They're unapologetic. They're in some type of family or home. And this person is going through some type of depression. They're lacking the courage and the strength. Because they're, there's some type of confusion here. Alright, it's because of fucking man magic and manipulation. Hello? Better. Somebody knows and dependable and insincere could be a Leo. Sun card and strength card, all right? Uh, but there's going to be clarity on this. There's some type of an offer coming in. Knight of Pentacles. It is a slow and the wheel comes out in the upright. Okay. And four of cups in the reverse. Somebody here feels like they missed an opportunity.
Something here is faded. There was an opportunity that was missed, but it was meant to happen that way. There's something stable coming in. It's going to make you really fucking happy. So maybe there's something better coming in. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Leo, fixed sign energy, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. Yeah, it's going to make someone happy. Somebody's going to feel victorious over a situation when some type of an offer comes in of stability. What's the wheel? The star in the reverse could be an Aquarius. Are you, someone's losing all hope in a situation that things can move forward or turn in, in their favor. Somebody may be like, not getting what they want due to karma or some there was a missed opportunity here i don't know what is the star in the reverse queen of cups so pisces you may be the one that's losing hope in a situation that things can move forward you may be thinking about missing an opportunity or rejecting something some type of offer of stability that would make you extremely happy. It could be a passionate new beginning. What is the six of wands? Somebody here is going to be victorious over this situation, though. You're dealing with someone who's independable and insincere. Now, whoever that is, I don't know. Ten of swords. Damn. What is the ten of swords? There is some type of an ending here that's going to end in betrayal and somebody's going to walk away from the situation. Or somebody did. Somebody may have walked away and betrayed the fuck out of somebody. And now somebody's successful, has some type of online platform or gets some type of public recognition. And now somebody wants to come in and offer something. But I feel like you've lost all hope in this situation. You feel like you have to defend yourself. You feel like there's mind games. When it comes to this soulmate connection, there's mind games, there's drama, there's people competing or causing fucking bullshit, all right? Somebody got caught lying, cheating, and stealing, and somebody's healed from this. This is someone who you're on a break from. But there's an offer of love coming in to an empress, to somebody who's very abundant. With the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, this person is very fucking abundant. Somebody's lacking the courage and the strength. They're... This person may be confused about marriage. Pisces, you may be someone who's younger. Don't have to be. But somebody's manipulating a fucking situation over here. And I'm, I'm just going to be annoyed with that. But what is the magician reverse? Queen of Swords. It could be an air sign. This came out in a reading I did earlier. But the Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or that this was in the reverse. And it was somebody trying to come in between a situation. This could be who, you know, this is somebody who could work in the government or somebody who's very, uh, what is the Queen of Swords? The Hanging Man. This could be you, Pisces. You may have air in your chart. You may feel up in your head, stuck in a mental prison. You may be feeling stuck. Trapped and bound, trying to use logic. You still have your sword raised, but you feel like somebody's manipulating a new beginning in love. There is honesty and truth, truth, truthful communication coming in. What is this ace of swords? That maybe something is over with the Scorpio. Death card, Six of Cups is Scorpio too, with someone from someone's past. I'm a Ferrari. Show me this Five of Swords, uh, Five of Wands. 
Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody here. Somebody here has a lot of baggage, a lot of burdens. High Priestess in the reverse and Five of Pentacles. Wow. So some secret may be out that somebody's feeling left out in the cold, fucking burdened, weighed down. Somebody wasn't using their intuition. You have three fives here. There's something's going to change drastically. There's the High Priestess in the reverse. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Wow. Somebody here uh, is not getting what they wanted. Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. Could be a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody who's being a player. Right? You may be receiving a message from this person. Be careful somebody's not married or going through a divorce or something, but somebody's not happy. Somebody may be overindulging or drinking, not using their intuition, feeling left out in the cold because they're fucking burdened by all this drama and all this mind games and fuckery and foolery that's going on, okay? Within a relationship, the lovers. Could be with the Gemini as well. Oh, I didn't even see that card. Death card. Oh, no, that was that one card. I'm tripping. Seven of Wands reverse. Somebody here is not protected. Or somebody, something here is... Somebody's not defending this relationship. Somebody wants somebody to let their guard down. This is Two of Cups when it comes to a soulmate connection. This is Two of Cups, please. This is Two of Cups. Temperance, Sagittarius. This you could be dealing with the Sag, but somebody wants somebody's been very patient, trying to bring balance to a situation. Wanting some type of equal give and take. But something here is over. Somebody is sad and regret. There's the shit. Four tentacles. Some something's getting released. Somebody's letting something go. Sagittarius may be letting something go. What's the fourth? Justice in the reverse. Libra. Somebody's letting something go that's not balanced. That's not fair, or there was some type of injustice in the situation. Somebody's letting that shit go and choosing to heal. So whatever this five of swords, five of wands, bullshit, five of pentacles, this could have been someone who left somebody on the cold, put a lot, put all the fucking weight on someone's back. All right. Left them to carry all these fucking ten wands. Left somebody feeling abandoned, played mind games, caused a bunch of fucking drama. Somebody's letting this shit go. Somebody who was not fair. Or there was some type of injustice done. Somebody's letting it go and choosing to heal. Period. All right. Let's see, shall we? Can we get three cards to close out this reading? If this reading resonates, y'all, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. and helps this message get out to others who need to see it. All right. Three cards, please, for Pisces abundance baby all right keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss the hammer and talking so somebody may be coming in to talk to you we have the ace of swords coming in out here so yeah there's definitely in the eight of wands somewhere there is communication coming in but we have the hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent and working on it somebody may want to come in somebody who sabotaged a situation is going to try to come in and speak to you, but I feel like a lot of this has to do with your abundance. We talked about that up here. So this person may be married or getting out of a divorce, and I don't know. They may be trying to propose something to you. Girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. Yeah. Somebody wants you to let your guard down, but I don't know if you should. Somebody's trying to manipulate somebody here because somebody's ascending, and now they want to date. Okay. Literally, that's what I got. Somebody's ascending and now they want to date. <laughs> okay. One more, please. 
sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. Yeah, this is somebody who could be stalking, watching you. This could be someone who's gaslighting you. I was, I don't know if I said that earlier up here, but I, I almost, if I didn't, I almost did. That This sounds like a gaslighting situation, but then I thought about the term, the meaning of that, and it didn't fit what I was trying to say, so I didn't say it, but um, there it is. This could be, you know, somebody who's just trying to gaslight you or trying to get what you got. This is somebody who you caught cheating or you know about some type of deception. You've healed from the shit. You may be wanting new love. I don't, I don't necessarily see it like that. This is like somebody went from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's an empress, man or woman, okay? You may need to defend yourself against this person. There is some type of... Somebody here is independable and insincere. This You can't depend on this person. All right? They, they don't give a fuck. They're insincere. We did have the five of cups that came out in reverse down here. You have all four or fives out here, too. There's some type of major change going on. Something here is transforming, possibly with someone from your past, or something is over with someone from the past, all right, for whoever I'm reading for. Uh, that's the four of cups. Just joking. But the five of cups was somewhere. Anyways, I'm going to leave it here. If this reading resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.